Let's define a problem statement before we explore all the standard transformations using SQL. Let us try to get daily product revenue using retail tables. This is how the business requirements will be. Get daily product revenue. For that, we have to come up with technical specs and then we have to come up with the solution. When it comes to our retail tables, daily can be derived from orders.order date. Orders have a field called as order date. Using that, we should be able to derive the daily. Product has to be derived from products.product .product name. Typically, we want to see product names when we get the daily product revenue. Revenue has to be derived from order items dot order item subtotal. We need to join all the three tables, then group by order date and product ID as well as product name to get revenue using order item subtotal. This is how you can actually solve this problem. Get daily product revenue using products, orders, and order items. That set is the high level design for this problem. Now let's try to understand what all fields we have in orders, order items, and products. These are the fields we have in orders, and we are interested in order date. We are also interested in order ID because using this order ID and using this order item order ID in order items, we will be able to join these two tables. From order items, we are interested in order item order ID because we have to join with orders. We are also interested in order item product ID. To get product name, we have to join order items with the products, and hence order item product ID is also important from order items. To get the revenue for each day for each product, we have to leverage this order item subtotal. So we are interested in ID, product ID, subtotal. When I say ID, I'm talking about order ID, not order item ID. It's a primary key in order items, and if you try to join order items with orders using order items, order item ID, you will get incorrect results. We are interested in order ID, product ID, and subtotal. From products, we are primarily interested in product ID so that we can join with order items. Then we are also interested in product name because we want to display product name as final output and hence we will be using product name as well from products. When it comes to relationships, we have one to many relationship between orders and order items. Orders.order ID is primary key and order items dot order item order ID is foreign key to orders dot order ID. So while solving the problem, if you have to join orders and order items, these are the fields which we should use to join. Also, when it comes to relationship between products and order items, we have one to many relationship between products and uh, order items. Products dot product ID is primary key and order items dot order item pro product ID is foreign key to products product ID. There is one extra O here. Let me delete this. By the end of this module, we'll explore all standard transformations and get daily product revenue using following fields. Orders dot order date, order items dot order item product ID, products dot product name, order items dot order item subtotal. As I have highlighted before, to join these three tables, we might also have to include the key fields such as order ID from orders, order item order ID from order items, product ID from products. We'll consider only complete or closed orders. We'll not be considering other orders. Typically, the revenue generating orders are only those orders which are either in complete or closed. Sometimes we might also include the pending orders, but for now, we will consider only complete or closed orders. Also, we'll be aggregating order item subtotal to get the daily product revenue. As there can be more than one product names with the different IDs, we have to include product ID as part of the key using which we'll group the data. That being said, We'll be exploring all the standard transformations as part of writing basic SQL queries to come up with the solution for this problem statement. And then finally, we will see how these skills can be leveraged to solve this problem.